Hamas and Israel agree to a four-day ceasefire. Saudi Crown Prince MBS calls for a stop on arms exports to Israel. And finally, Al Anabi picked up a massive win in India on the road to the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifications. Hi, this is Ali. This is the Roundup, and here are today's top stories. Following weeks of mediation between Hamas and Israel, courtesy of Qatar, Egypt, and the U.S., the two sides have agreed to a four-day humanitarian pause in Gaza. The deal will also see 50 Israelis held by Hamas released, whereas 150 Palestinian women and children held in Israeli jails will be freed on the other side. An extension on the ceasefire deal is also on the cards, depending on how many captives are released. On that note, Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has called on the international community to cease weapons exports to Israel. MBS attending a virtual BRICS meeting on Tuesday said that the kingdom rejected Israel's military operations in the Gaza Strip and demanded an immediate halt to them. The relentless bombing in the besieged strip had been raging on for over a month, with more than 13,000 Palestinians, most of them children, killed. And finally, former FIFA World Cup hosts Qatar maintained their perfect start on the road to the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifications on Tuesday afternoon. Al Annabi beat India 3-0 away in Bhubaneswar, leaving them with two wins out of two in their second round qualifier group stage. Qatar's win also ended India's 15-match unbeaten streak. Serial hitman Al Maiz Ali scored a goal with Mustafa Mish'al and Yusuf Abdel Razak rounding out the scoring. Well, that's all for today. For more stories, head over to our website or download our app.